Hey guys, 420 Scene here, back at it again with another video. I hope everyone out there is having themselves a super Sony day. Let me know what you're talking on and where you watch the video from. I always like to know, as always, totally drop a like, subscribe, and if you want access to all my secret, unlisted, grow and smoke videos, if you want some one-on-one -on -one grow help, or if you want to check out the new grow series that we got going on, totally check us out on Patreon. I'm going to have the link in the upper right-hand corner over here. I was going through the last Q&A community post, and I see a lot of you guys have been having questions for me that I didn't see until after the last Q&A and today we're gonna go over a really good question that I've never made a video about and it's from 81 bluesman one he asked what strain was the biggest yielding photo in auto and I feel like some of you might already know but some of you might not and and I'll talk about what I did for those ladies to get them super big and I'm sure a lot of you have already saw the photos of these two strains and one of them was just last year but let's go over the two biggest yielding strains in my opinion the ones that I've started now we're certainly going to be talking about the runs that I have did and if you haven't seen those pictures I do have them on the Patreon community. I have the pictures of all the different grows that I've done for the last few years or so. I think there's like five or six different grows if you want to check that out so you can see proof of my grow and whatnot you know totally check it out. The auto is really easy it's definitely I've had some really nice autos but the one that really sticks out is the granddaddy perp from ILGM and that one ended up vegging for like two weeks and it had a craze I mean it had a crazy stretch it ended up being like four feet and I know it took up most of the bathroom closet from the old apartment. I got like 10 to 12 O's on that one. And what we did was we ran seven gallon fabric pots and we used down the earth, specifically the down the earth recipe that I did about a year ago. I believe off the top of my head, it was the fishbone meal, the kelp meal, alfalfa meal, crab meal, and langbionite. And I think it was, and worm castings, and worm castings. Kind of forgot about that. Can't forget about that. Now the ratio for that is three tablespoons per gallon of soil on the initial mix. And then one tablespoon per gallon, you know, as the top dress, one once every month or so. Now, according to ILGM, Granddaddy is 100% full on straight up indica. I mean, there's no real surprise there. I grow a lot of the indicas and I just prefer indicas. I saw some people ask me, is there something that I'm not crazy about when it comes to sativas? I do like some sativas. I'm not crazy about like the Blue Dream or the Haze, the really super sativas, but something like Sour D is pretty good. And that's one of my favorite strains as a lot of you guys already know. The last video that I made, you know, so, I know someone, a few people ask me, you know, what's your deal with sativa? It's just my preference. There's nothing wrong with sativas. ILGM does say that they grow very compact. Sorry guys, I love you, but I call bullshit. Mine had crazy stretch. I think she flowered for like eight, nine weeks, which is about what ILGM says is their flowering time. So they're spot on with that. I got a really good yield and I mean, it lasted for a good while, you know what I'm saying? Like, and some people are also wondering, does it actually turn purple? Yes, granddaddy purple. This one from ILGM, absolutely turns purple. You could totally see a lot of the purple hues in there. So now if you've never had GDP before, it's kind of got like a berry mixed with like a hickory kind of, that's like the terpene profile that I at least noticed from, you know, the, the one from ILGM that I did. So, I mean, it's very tasty. It's very tasty. Have I had some better tasting stuff? Yes, but this is probably the biggest yield when it comes to the autos. Now, as far as the biggest photo strain, I'm going to have to say it was Girl Scout cookies from Yes, ILGM. You know, what can I say? ILGM just has some really high yielding ladies, you know? Love me or hate me, I said, I've been doing ILGM. I've been running their stuff for the last maybe 10 years. I mean, I've, you know, I've run other stuff, of course, but like primarily, I've just had really good success with ILGM, so I kind of just never left them. And, you know, I'm expanding now, you know, with the Ethos Grow, and, and now we're doing that row with the Cali Connection. I've run Nirvana Beans. I've, I've run a lot of exotic beans. I've done a lot of different stuff, so I just really like ILGM. I've just used them for maybe the first eight years, like religiously. I've never had a problem with them. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to stick with them. So love me or hate me. It is what it is. Like I said before, ILGM just has really high yielding strains and Girl Scout cookies extreme, totally solid. I didn't weigh it, but let me put it to you this way. You remember the um, Apple Betty? I got 350 G's out of that from the last run and that filled up an entire sea vault. Now the Girl Scout cookies, it ended up filling one and a half sea vaults, four liter size. So maybe like 500 G's on the two, I'm lowballing at 500 G's, you know what I'm saying? But that's what I got from the two ladies. And those were in, I think they were in seven gallon containers. I'm not, I don't quite remember if it was like seven or 10 gallon. I did grow the Girl Scout cookies extreme in Gaia Green. I was using the Electric Sky ES300 from the Green Sunshine Company. And oh, I forgot to mention the GDP 
BP Auto was grown with a Bloom Plus BP 3000 along with those down to earth nutrients. So like both the ES300 and the BP 3000, they are both awesome as fuck lights. They are really good. So yes, now that I really think about it, I feel like my mind is trying to tell me that I was running it in 10 gallon plastic containers instead of seven gallon. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm trying to remember this was two runs ago, you know what I'm saying? It was like towards fall of last year. And on top of all that, we did also use the aspirin foliar spray trick. Oh guys, I forgot. If you do want to see a picture of the Girl Scout Cookies Extreme, go on my Twitch. It's going to be like the banner picture. So www.twitch.tv forward slash 420 scene. And when you go on my Twitch, the Twitch channel is also going to be in the description below. But if you click that link, the banner that you see, you know, you can't miss it. That's the Girl Scout Cookies Extreme that I ran from like last last fall. What was it like September, October, November-ish? Now that we answered the question of the day, our current run, we're running in 15 gallon containers and I'm gonna be shooting for 1.5 pounds per lady. Always gotta keep pushing even if we don't get it, but I think we got this, I think we can do it. I'm running some new grow tricks and techniques that I'm gonna share with you guys. I just wanna see if it works. I wanna see what the final yield is gonna be on our new run. I think we can get 1.5 pounds. Even if anyone in the comments section doesn't agree with me i don't give a fuck i think i'm gonna do it i think i can do it so we're gonna be doing the banana latte which you already know about and we're running the sour diesel but this time you know from the cali connection you guys already know i mentioned it in the last video so by the time you're watching this video obviously we kicked off the new grow series already i upload my videos about one week to two weeks in advance so that's why so to wrap up the video kind of like a recap the gdp auto and the girl scout cookies extreme both from ilgm were my biggest yielders auto and photo and i have been like i said before I've been running ILGM for a long time, but we've kind of been branching off, trying out a lot of different breeders and different brands. And I've just always liked ILGM. And I promise you, I promise you, they did not sponsor this video. Let me know if you want me to do a video on the best tasting strains. And I promise you, sorry to say, ILGM, you're not gonna be on that list. So anyone who thinks I'm just trying to rep ILGM, you're barking up the wrong tree there, bro. Before we close off today's video, I wanna thank everyone on screen who's been supporting us on Patreon. I really appreciate the love and support. To everyone else, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and mostly turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I hope everyone has a great rest of their day. And as always, stay safe. Peace.